Hi everybody, it's Miss here. Uh, and thank you for joining me today. Um, if you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate everybody that does subscribe and leave a comment. Um, it, do, it does mean a lot. Um, so today is October the 6th. It's Friday. Um, I generally have my video done up ahead of time and it's scheduled and it will come out like it should have came out this morning, but um, I have been working a lot and I had to have a procedure this morning um, of my colon. So yesterday I spent prepping and I don't know if anybody's ever had a CT of their colon, but the prep is, I think, worse than the whole situation all put together. So I just what wasn't well enough yesterday to come and sit and do some some videos. Um, so today I thought I would work work on it, and though it's not post up this morning, to try to get get it on for later today. Um, so the video we're going to be working in the Daphne's Diary Glue Book Journal. If you've been following along, um, we have done quite a few um, pages and projects um, already. Um, so if you haven't seen any of the previous ones, uh, they're all in a, a playlist. Daphne's Diary Playlist Glue Book Journal. Um, so check them out. And uh, so I've already um, taken my page out. I've put some card, uh, uh, paper pad, uh, paper on the background. Um, and just a note from last week's um, project, a couple things that I did do. I had noticed that there was some white there. And just as soon as the video ended, I tried to peel the legs up and I couldn't get them up. Um, and I took this little blade. I don't know if you can see that there. It's a wee little micro blade, um, a cutting blade. And I just gently cut that out and peel it up and it came up no problem. So I sorted that issue. And often what I do, which I didn't do, last week is I like to put a little gem or a pearl on my butterflies. So, so we got him all sorted out. Um, so this week I'm going to go back, um, to issue, uh, four. Um, and for this issue, I did get two magazines, which I was, uh, happy for. Um, so what I'm going to play with is this envelope. So, um, there's an envelope, which is I think this is a little bit heavier. Yeah, it's a little bit heavier uh, paper. And then there was a bunch of cut out flowers that you could cut out. And then there was uh, some images on this page, which is just on the glossy magazine. So I'm gonna use um, that stuff. And then um, there was also a page with a moon, which I had marked and it has now eluded me because the thingy fell out. Um, but it was this page here uh, with a little moon and I'm gonna be using that, uh, that writing. So just before we begin, my butterfly blew away here. Um, right, so let's get started. I might have to do this in a couple different segments um, just because I don't, I often will try to have some things prepped and, and I just didn't for this time. Uh, so we're going to, I've already cut the envelope uh, and I am going to be fastening it on to the page like so. Uh, but before I do that, I want to make a cut. So I'm just going to get a glass cutting mat. And I already pushed, put it together. This has a little bit of a uh, an edge or um, space for to put stuff in it. Um, but I don't know if you can see the little pencil marks. I just made a little bit of a line um, where I want to make my cut. Uh, and for my cut, I don't need my micro. My micro blade. I just need, excuse me if my head gets in the way here. I just need this ruler. I want to make sure it's relatively straight. It is a it is a journal and things often aren't completely straight. Okay, so put that back before I cut myself. 
So what it's going to end up doing when I fasten it down is it's going to tuck in there and that's how it's going to close. Okay, so I'm going to grab my eraser. Okay, and then I just put some score tape. I want to make sure this is the right way up. This is the right way up. I've already put some score tape on the back. So we're going to take that off and we're going to glue this down. Not glue it, tape it down. I absolutely love score tape because it holds magnificently. So if you're doing like mini albums and stuff, um, it's fantastic. So I just need to turn this a bit and try and get it kind of lined up. I think that's pretty straight. I'm just gonna pull it. I hope my head doesn't get in the way, but if it does, I apologize. Okay. All right, so we've got the envelope down. And then what I want it to take today to do is just play a little bit about things that we could put in the envelope. So the first thing I thought about is let's make a tag. So I pulled out a bunch of clippings that I had from the magazine and I've made this tag. I'm not sure exactly how long it is. It's roughly, I might have to cut the bottom off a bit, but it's roughly six, six and a half uh, by two and three quarter. And then a long time ago, I took one of the Tim tags and I just took an old card that I had and I cut the edge um, so that I would always kind of have a, a Tim tag template. Um, and I basically just use it to cut my edge. Then I flip it over and I cut my other edge. Um, so that gives me a, the tag corners. You can just cut your corners. You don't need a template like, like that. Um, if you want to get, get them exactly the same and you don't have a kind of template, just cut one off, find it, take it in, reverse it, and cut the other side. Um, for, my set, for my hole, I just found my center, and then I have a hole punch here that I just cut out my hole. And then I do have, if you saw my video where I did the belly band, I have all kinds of little cuttings. I took some my punches and I went around to some of the pieces of the magazine that I had off cuts for and I just cut out all kinds of uh, shapes. And then I made um, some, those are little, uh, little tabs. Um, and then I just made uh, little tags and just little little embellishments um, just using uh, the magazine cutoffs. Um, so I have also cut out some wee little reinforcers to go around my my hole for my tag um, and you can make those either um, I do have a kind of a reinforce a couple of re reinforcements as we were kids when we used the page or reinforcements that, that's what they were um so i do have one i think this is we are memory keepers but i can't be sure um but you can always um if you have a five eighths circle punch or even if you don't um just whatever a uh, hole punch that you use to cut your um, hole with uh, you want to use that as the center of your circle um and then uh the five eighths is pretty much um the, the right size uh, for um, do, doing those reinforcers. So that's, that's just an idea. Um, so I cut these out of the spare piece of glossy that I used um, that was part of that envelope page. Um, I then also went and I cut out just some, um, some text, some letters or writing from the magazine. And I'm just gonna uh, put that down. I think it's okay if I just use some tape runner. Um, you just want to make sure you get it right to the edge. You, you can use glue. The thing about using like a, a water-based glue, like um, Elmer's glue, glitter glue, that kind of thing, is that it can warp your paper. So you just just take take that in mind and use it sparingly. Alternatively, you can use the Fabri-Tac or the three-in-one. Uh, which is a silicone base and it won't warp your pages. Um, but I think uh, we'll get, this is bigger than my tag, so I think we'll get along uh, just fine. So I'm just gonna stick that down and then I'm just gonna trim that 
uh, trim it off to outline the tag. So like I said, it is uh, the beginning of October here. Hard to believe. The weather is absolutely gorgeous today. A little bit cool, but uh, but still there's a lot of warmth in the sun. And I absolutely love this, this weather. Um, I used to love the heat of the summer when I was a kid. Oh my, I couldn't get hot enough. Um, but as I've gotten older, the, um, oh, the heat just bothers me. Um, okay, and then, like I said, I've cut out, I've made some of these little reinforcers that will just glue down. If I want, want one on the back, we can put one on later. Okay, so we've got that down. And then I went along and I just cut out just a bunch of different flowers and stuff. The other thing that I had already kind of as a, as a cutoff, as a scrap, is I had a piece of um, lace. And I have a doily here that I had on my desk. thought we could maybe use the doily. Stick that down. And then I like I like that. I'm not even sure if I want the doily, but I do know that I want to get some of these flat flowers down. And for this, I'm okay to use some El Elmer's glue. There's not going to be enough really to worry too much about the warping. And if it does warp, it's no big deal. I think I'll do that. There's a flat edge to that, so I think I'll kind of make it come up like that. And then from that, wherever I got this, I can't remember what page. Um, there was there was a couple border images, so I can put that like that. I think, and then I think I had one. Yeah, I got one other little one here that I could put there or not at all. I think I'm happy with that. So let's get this one down. If you don't like fussy cutting um, or you know you don't have a magazine or Daphne's diary, uh, you can always use stickers here or die cuts. Um, but I like this, this put playlist I'm just sh kind of showing, maybe to myself, but all the things you can do with one magazine or with you know magazine su subscription. In Canada, it's hard to get that Daphne's diary. We used to be able to get it at um, uh, Michael's, but I went into my Michael shop the other day in Halifax. I'm in Nova Scotia, Canada, and. Um, they got rid of their magazines. They got rid of all their magazines. So so that's not an option anymore. And then um, I heard, but I've not actually looked, that you can get them at Walmart. Um, I know I have looked at Chapters in Halifax, uh, Bears Lake, and they didn't seem to have it there. So back when I first started doing this, I had made the decision to make, to get a subscription. Um, however, I've been having problems with the subscription in that the first one that I got, um, when I received it all excited, it went to the mailbox, couldn't wait. And um, the back pages, it looked like somebody had tried to look at the magazine because it only comes in this really flimsy plastic, uh, plastic bag, I guess you'd call it, because it's not even like, um, like a sandwich bag thickness. It's just really flimsy. Um, so I let them know they were good about giving me another one. And then the second magazine that I got um, was the luggage tag ones and they were all cut off at the bottom. So they did send me another one. And then <laughs> this last one that I just got, I didn't even think I was going to get it. It took like weeks to get here. People were already posting vi videos and stuff ab with about that issue. And you know, it took me a long time to get it. I just got it last week. So it was like the last bit of um, September. But anyways, I'm talking too much and not getting my work done here. 
Um, so what else? I, I wanted to put this for you because if you were gonna use it later for like to give to a friend, then I just kind of thought that that would, um, you know, that would be able to, you'd be able to use it for happy birthday, thinking of you, um, etc. That's a little banner. And then I don't know why, but I liked the number five. So that is going to make an appearance on this thing. So I'm just going to trim it up a little bit more. The crows are outside having a fight with I think the seagulls, if you seen one, if you saw one of my last videos, there was a big hullabaloo going outside with the crows and the seagulls. Um, and then I don't think I'll use that. Um, and then I just have some butterflies. So I'm kind of happy, kind of happy with something like that. I think you don't have to be too awful fussy. You, um, you know, use whatever that you have and be as fussy as you like. I'm going to put this this down with a little bit of two-in-one or Fabri-Tac though. Um, and I do want to make sure that it is quite, um, it, everything's glued down quite well because it is going to be sliding in and out um, from from the back of the of the envelope. So if you noticed, which I didn't really point out at the time, um, but I only, when I put the envelope down, I only put tape on three sides. So I've left a pocket in, in the top. Um, so I'm just going to push that down with a little bit of this. So it doesn't stick to my fingers and it doesn't stick to the desk. Okay. So that's lovely jubbly. Okay. And then... I think I'm happy with the for you and I don't know why but I okay so I didn't notice that we had cut out um, so I just went ahead and put down um, the bits that we I, we had talked about um, I don't think I mentioned or it caught it in the vi the video that um, Michael's the other day had um, this uh, silky ribbon on sale for $5.99 which is really good um, here, especially since it's um, there's a lot on that spool, um, and it's like almost like a sari silk. Um, so I know I can probably dye that, but I've used that for my pull. Um, and then I had um, printed that out on the computer. Um, I printed out just a number of uh, little sayings and, and words, uh, and I have a little uh, charm here, which just says love, uh, and I've put it on a bulb clip, and I'm just gonna. Fasten that to the pull at the top there. And if I can get that fastened. Sometimes I have arthritis in my thumbs. Um, and there. So we got a cute little tag that we can just slide in the back here. And if there doesn't seem to be enough room, then what I like to do is take a ruler or your bone folder and just kind of open it up a little bit like so and then that should fit no problemo and it should go right to the bottom and if it doesn't then we can just pop that up a little bit more it only goes to the top. It might be all the way down. There we go. Um, okay, so that's kind of sticking out the top. Um, so the other thing, I'll bring this back. Uh, so then I wanted to put some things in here that would, um, as you, when you open the envelope, it would kind of open up and there'd be some stuff there. So, so uh, some of the things, just get rid of some of this for right now, that I was thinking is we could make a, um, a journaling card. So um, with the leftover off cut of the background uh, paper, this was a 12 by 12, um, I made like a little card that would just go in your envelope. And then with that image that was on the, the back page or the, the left-hand page of this, um, I've cut out those flowers 
and I thought this would be good for uh, just an image to go on the front of our journaling card. Um, and then when I was talking about like the image for the moon, that moon image, that little saying beside it that says, proud of myself. Um, I think sometimes light in life, we often think about, you know, oh, making our parents proud, our kids proud, our partners proud, um, our boss proud. And we sometimes stop to think about ourselves. You know, we're taught that don't be selfish and what have you. But I think it is important um, to be proud of, uh, of yourself. So I thought this journaling card can be about, I don't know, maybe some reflection on a time when, you know, you were pr really proud or, and again, sometimes we're told pride, you know, before the fall or something along that, that lines. But I think it is important. I don't think it's important to be really self-centered your whole life. But I think there's times when we have to think about ourselves for mental health reasons, for, um, you know, just practical reasons. And so I think it's really important for us to be proud of ourselves. And I'm thinking that I might cut that right up. And put that off. Oop, put that up maybe up there. <laughs> I keep sticking to my finger. Proud of myself. Okay. And I'm, again, I'm okay. And I don't want a lot of dimension on, on this. And I'm okay to use just, just glue. Glue for this would be fine. So proud of myself. And then I had, which I'll probably never be able to find now in this. Ah, oh, here it is. I had another little butterfly. And this is a little white one. And maybe he's more like a moth that I thought was kind of cute. And he could go, he's sitting on that leaf. I'm not sure what kind of angle he's at though. I think it's that angle. So that's the angle that he's going at. So I also have um, a stamp, which is just, just a line stamp that you could um, stamp on the back. Um, but I'm okay to have it just a blank jour journaling card. The thing that I do want to do though, if I can find my corner rounder, is I just want to make this, I just want to round the corners on this one. To me, that's kind of a little bit more like a journaling card. Okay, you can fit, fancy that up uh, as much as you like, but I kind of like that. And it gives me some space to write in the back. So I'm going to put that in my little um, envelope. And then the other thing that I did was there's a bunch of um, images on that, the other page, on the, when you flip all over that were just flowers. So I kind of thought, well, if I was journaling, like my, in my day journal, um, and maybe I wanted a flower, then I'd have some ready here. Or, so I'm just gonna throw in those. Um, if I was gonna be traveling, uh, then may maybe I would put it on some self-adhesive paper and then uh, fussy cut it to make it a sticker that I could, wouldn't need to worry about having glue on hand. Um, but um, I'm in my craft room, so I'm okay just to th throw in some flowers. And then in one of the magazines, and again, I think it was issue three, uh, there were these li little cards um, that you could cut and make um, place cards or business cards or just to put on, on a gift card. Um, so I cut two and folded it in half. Um, so that can be like a little, uh, again, a little journal spot. Um, if you wanted to, to, to fussy it up, you could 
put some, you know, adhere some of the flowers. There were two each of these flowers. Um, so um, the other ones that I have are, are here. I had them out already. Of course, I couldn't find them when I wanted them. Um, so yeah, so then when you close this up and tuck that in, your little tuck there, then you have another little page. Okay, and um, if you were going to make this quite a bit thicker, you might want to make your slit a little bit higher. Um, and if I found that it wasn't keeping um, closed, then I can make yet another one, and then there'd be a dot, like a little, um, a little uh, strip there that it would fit in. But I, but I think that's going to be fine. It is bulge in there a bit. Um, so maybe no, I, I, th I think that'll that, that'll work. Um, so that's our short and sweet tutorial for today. So if I can find my book, we can put the page page back in. At some point, um, I will be sewing these in um, to make them more secure. But for now, I've just got them in with my little rope. So we're opening the book and then we get to our page with our envelope that we've got all kinds of, oh, some off screen, sorry. Um, I was just saying that we, um, and we open up to our page and then we have all our little goodies in there. Um, we have a little tag that we can use for something else. You could even journal on the back of the tag. Um, so I've left that kind of hanging with our little charm. Um, and just a reminder to celebrate you. Um, and that's it for today. So if you did like this video, um, I'd love for you to like and subscribe if you haven't. Um, and leave me a comment. I love to hear um, all your comments. Um, and thanks so much for those pe people who've been supporting me. Um, and um, on November the 1st, which is a, a second check my calendar, I think it's a Wednesday. That's going to be um, November 1st is a Wednesday. And that's when one of my A Card A Week Till Christmas videos will play. Um, and in that video, um, there will be details of a giveaway. Um, so if you're interested in giveaway, then um, join me uh, for November 1st and, um, and we'll go from there. Um, but until next time, I hope you all stay safe and well um, and thanks for watching.